talk about some of the market action. We're going to jump over to our man, Elliot Wallenbach. Folks, Elliot is Senior Vice President with Direction. You can check out Direction's variety of ETFs. Just click on that banner on the front page of TFNN, and let's jump right into it. Elliot, good afternoon. Welcome back to TFNN. Hey, thank you for having me. Excited to be back with you guys. Boy, do we got enough to talk about in this market in terms of where we are across the board? Um, I know, you know, it's not difficult to say where do we start, but boy, we got action everywhere in this market. But I wanted to, to ask you to kick things off, if I could. Uh, China. We're getting lots of headlines out of China with stimulus. We got quite a package coming out a couple of days ago. We have new headlines today. I know you guys at Direction have some ETFs having to do with China, but I know we get investors out there, myself included. You know, I'm looking at some of these equities. Um, it's been quite a tough road, but boy, maybe maybe we got some action. But but what do you think about China going on over in some of the stimulus and the action, of course, with their equities? Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, pretty big news coming out of China, like you mentioned uh, earlier this week. We saw a pretty substantial stimulus package trying to boost their economy, stabilize the real estate market. You know, we saw a mixture of uh, the PBOC cutting mortgage rates, reducing minimum down payment for home buyers, um, you know, also cutting short term uh, interest rates, uh, and also just uh, about 113 billion of liquidity support for equities. Um, and we even saw them double down again today with uh, the PBOC again, cutting the one year rate by 30 basis points. So there's been a lot of movement in uh, Chinese equities uh, this week, uh, especially around this news. And also, actually, it's uh, impacted the, uh, the broader uh, you know, global financial market as well. But, you know, as you mentioned, we have uh, tradable uh, products, leverage and inverse. These are short term tactical trading tools. Um, but we have a uh, FTSE uh, 50 uh, China uh, 3X ETF. Yin is the uh, bull, Yang is the bear. And just to give you a little insight into some of the flows we've seen uh, last week uh, leading into this, uh, Yang, which is our triple inverse off of the China uh, 50 FTSE, uh, has been the top 10 inflows last week and also year to date because, you know, as we've seen with Chinese equities in general, it's been a pretty bumpy road. So we've seen a lot of traders coming into the bear side uh, trying to take okay. action of Interesting in terms of pulling up the chart. Uh, obviously, we've gotten quite a little bounce here. So Yang pulling back a bit. Um, but it looks like you're seeing some data. And I appreciate you sharing it with us because there's nothing like that data in terms of what people are doing with their investments. Um, investors, maybe not just yet convinced that this might be enough to send those equities higher potentially. It is interesting. And you mentioned that number, which is pretty cool. The liquidity number, right? Just over $100 billion they were putting in there. And you know, when some of the articles I was reading were saying, you know, this isn't some type of bazooka plan. They're trying to do it without that. But I find it so interesting when you get the type of volatility we get in the tech sector now, where $100 billion, I was almost joking, it's not what it used to be when a, an equity like NVIDIA can gain $200 billion in market cap in 24 hours. Um, but intriguing. Nonetheless, they get a bounce. So yin and yang, easy symbols. I always remember those ones. Uh, we got to talk a little bit of yields if we could, of course. So the Fed begins with 50 basis points. Uh, investors, you know, there's the yields. It's, it is interesting, the move we've gotten yields over that that you know the last week or so it's been a week now and they cut by 50 basis points meanwhile we've seen the 10-year maybe tick up a little bit actually go up in yield if you can talk to us a little bit because i know you got etfs everywhere and especially with that tmf among others but um what are you seeing in yields what are you thinking about yields as we pivot to a cutting cycle yeah no definitely i i think uh you know 50 basis points we had some banks out there predicting that, but I'd say most, uh, that was that came as a surprise. Uh, most were thinking 25 for last week. Of course, we saw the 50. Uh, you know, we're kind of seeing proactive, um, you know, Fed kind of uh, not trying to fall behind the curve on the economic data uh, that we're seeing slowing and, uh, you know, unemployment. Um, and so right now we have uh, the swaps market. Uh, traders are pricing in about another 75 uh, basis point cut throughout the, the rest of the year. Of course, that is subject to change and that's speculative, but we do have uh, treasury uh, ETFs. We have TMF, TMV, that's a 20 plus year treasury, both triple leverage, TMF is a bull, TMV is a bear. Um, but interestingly enough, we've also seen a lot of uh, movement in 
some equities where uh, that are have been a bit more rate sensitive, um, you know, such as small cap, um, you know, much sure. more rate sensitive relative to large and mega cap tech names. We saw a you know a strong bounce uh, last week in that, and now you know kind of a little bit of a pullback. Um, but you know, going back to the flows uh, that I mentioned, I always find this uh, interesting. Uh, TNA, which is our triple leverage uh, ETF off of sm- uh, small caps, and then TZA is the triple inverse. TNA had the top ten inflows in the past three months, so that's kind of you know traders looking uh, for a reversion to the mean, which we did see last week. Uh, but last week specifically, uh, TZA, TZA, the triple inverse, had the third most inflows out of our entire suite of ETFs, and TNA, the bull fund, had uh, was top three for outflows. So that's Oof, that's what we great like information, to see man. Is Thank you. Short-term that traders is. taking profit there, um, and then also taking the you know the shorter view. Maybe a little bit of buy buy the rumor, sell the news, right? They were buying until they actually got that 50 basis point cut, and then maybe they were selling a bit. Um, um, and I'm generalizing, but yeah, that is that is great data, man. And and we will see. It is it is remarkable how many cuts the market has priced into this market right now. But as we know, the market's been wrong a couple times, and and we get to see it play out, which is pretty cool. And I want to jump to gold. You know, we got a lot of gold bugs that listen, of course, Elliot, and uh, you know. It, it seems like every day I do my show and I say, folks, we got a record in gold, all time highs. And, you know, but another one today, man, we're almost at 2,700. Talk to us a little bit about gold. You guys got some great gold ETFs, of course. What are you seeing in gold with this run to, to higher prices? And this might be not the beginning, but it is remarkable. We're at the beginning of that cutting cycle and still you have gold uh, right there near 2,700. Yeah, gold is having a record year right now, um, and I, you know, exactly what you mentioned. Uh, I feel like every time I've been on uh, this show that uh, <laughs> gold is hitting an all-time, uh, you know, new high or you know, all, you know, for the year at least. Um, so yeah, we've definitely seen a bid from the Fed last week with that rate cut, um, and then also. Um, we've seen global uncertainty, uh, just geopolitical, sure. um, some uh, you know fighting going on as well um, in different countries that creates a little uncertainty around gold, and that's kind of that flight to safety trade. And as you mentioned, we don't have gold specific ETFs, but we have uh, double leverage ETFs off of the gold miners. So the bull fund uh, NUGT uh, is the our two X bull fund off the gold miners. Dust is the 2x inverse. Uh, and then we also have the junior gold miners as well. That is JNUG uh, for the bull fund and JDST for the bear fund. Um, and, uh, you know, just going a little bit back into the flows, I think, you know, some people like to see it. Uh, you know, Dust was uh, top five uh, for inflows last week, even though when we saw that bounce in not only Oof. gold, but the gold miners themselves. So, again, okay. you know, taking profits, um, you know, what we're seeing. All right. I, I want I want to hear him buy a nugget, not, not Dust, I kid. But that yeah. is great information. It makes sense, man. It is quite a run. Gold up 30%. Elliot, thank you so much for the time, man. We appreciate the update, and we look forward to having you on again next time, okay? Thank you. Thanks so much. Folks, check out that direction banner. We'll be right back.